Hello, folks, and welcome to our coverage of the Pinedale Wranglers season preview as the Wranglers are set to kick it off in a scrimmage format against Big Piney in a 9-man, 11-man matchup. What we're going to do here is take a look at uh, the future here for the Pinedale Wranglers looking at the schedule this season and uh, also look at every single high school football game in the state and uh, taking a peek at uh, the Wyoming Cowboys, and we'll look back at last year. We've got a new head coach, new coverage, and a new voice of the Wranglers. And uh, shout out to Doug for uh, stepping in and uh, stepping to the plate here to take on the challenge. And very excited for you, Doug, and, and looking forward to uh, all things, uh, everything Pinedale Wranglers this season. So uh, for those of you that aren't aware, we will be providing free live HD video coverage for all Pinedale Wranglers football, basketball, and soccer games this year. That includes girls basketball. And uh, we'll travel with the team, cover the team, and uh, Doug's going to be uh, on the road covering the Wranglers as well as all of those whole games, home games as well. And uh, we've got a lot to look forward to here. We want to thank all of our sponsors for making this possible, uh, for everybody that jumped on board at the opportunity to support these kids and support this broadcast. Uh, and in no particular order here, I just wanted to thank everyone that signed on. Boulder Creek Carriage Company, Highline Trail RV Park, State Farm Agent Peter Sherbel, Flowrite Plumbing and Heating, Bucky's Outdoors, Jack's Salon, The Bear Den Restaurant, Pinedale Glass, Ramsey Eye Care Center, Four Pines Physical Therapy, First Choice Ford, Pinedale Aquatic Center, Jorgensen's and & Associates, and CarQuest. So thank you to all of those businesses that have dug deep to uh, make this thing happen and we appreciate uh, their support for being able to uh, come out and cover these games and so if you can't make it to the game you'll be able to watch the game if you can't make it to the game you'll be able to listen to the game as all games this year will be simulcast on 104.3 kfze now uh, looking at the uh, pinedale wranglers this season uh, br again a brand new head coach in jesse lake and uh, talking to the community talking to coach lake everyone excited about the future of Pinedale Wrangler football. And uh, they will start things off again in this scrimmage format against Big Piney. Uh, you have to go back to 2016 for the last time that uh, Pinedale defeated Big Piney. That was a 41 to 13 win for the Wranglers back on September 30th of 2016. And uh, the Big Piney, I mean, they've had some, uh, they've had some squads in recent years. And uh, in fact, they've uh, made some title runs here. So Big Piney is gonna be a tough opponent here for the Wranglers. And uh, we look forward to the matchup. Now, we're gonna take a look here at uh, last season and uh, how things went for the uh, the Wranglers last year in their matchups. Uh, they finished the season uh, with a, uh, let's see, matchup against Rich County, Utah. And that was uh, the last time they were on the field was the 20th of October. So going back to, I guess, the beginning of last year was also that Big Piney matchup. And Big Piney won that one 34 to 2. And then the Wranglers got their first win of the season 6 to nothing against the Rollins Outlaws. And they uh, continued with a matchup against a very tough Lyman team. And Lyman blanked them 40 to nothing last year. Cokeville, another tough opponent. Talk about back to back to back to back tough games here. Cokeville wins uh, 28 to 8. Lovell, the Bulldogs, win 51 to 6. And then Thermopolis had quite the crew last year. The Bobcats win that one 20 to nothing. And then a little bit of run for the Wranglers. They defeat Kimmer 36 to 6, which we'll see Kimmer very soon. And uh, then they played Mountain View and Rich County to close out the season. Mountain View, a very tough team, 42-7. to And we talked about Rich County already. Looking at the schedule, uh, what's on the slate for this year as uh, things get rolling into the regular season against Rollins on the road. And uh, we'll have coverage of that one for you again right here on 104.3 KFZE and Facebook.com slash The Radio Network Group. Kimmer is to follow, so a pair of road trips on back-to-back uh, -back Fridays, and then a home game against Warland, which is uh, a team that's got a lot of uh, new faces in it. They graduated a bunch of seniors. Um, you saw them athletically continue through football, basketball season, and soccer season over the last few years, but they've graduated a bunch of those players. And then tough matchups in Cokeville, playing the Panthers on the 27th of September. Opening up October, 
It's a matchup against the Mountain View Buffs at home in Pinedale and then level to follow and finishing out the season with Lyman and Hot Springs County at home. So Lyman and Thermop, the Eagles and the Bobcats will close out the regular season for the Pinedale Wranglers. We're going to go ahead and uh, tune in to our prep report, folks, and we'll be right back after this with more preseason action here on the Pinedale Wranglers 2024 season. The Prep Report, I'm Eric Polly for TRN Media. This is a look at every single high school football game happening this week, and we will include scrimmages and out-of-state matchups as well as jamborees in this one, as it's zero week for everybody but Class 4A. Their games are all officially in the record books. So it will be Cheyenne South at number one Sheridan at 6 o'clock in Class 4A, and then Laramie is at number two Cheyenne East, Kelly Walsh makes the trip to play number three, Campbell County. And then Cheyenne Central is in Sweetwater County to match up against Rock Springs. That's a 6 o'clock kickoff. Pre-game show coverage begins at 5.30. And then number five, Thunder Basin, is at number four, Natrona County, in a battle of ranked teams. That's the only 4A game that will take place at 7 o'clock. In Class 3A, we have one true matchup. That's number five, Riverton, at number three, Powell. And that's scheduled for 6 p.m. And then in 1A, nine man, it's right at Shoshone. Midwest is at Hannah Elk Mountain in 1A, six man. And some interclass matchup, it's 2A, Glen Rock against 3A, Jackson. And that one begins at 6 o'clock on a neutral field that's being played in Riverton. And then we have out-of-state matchups here as Lyman makes the trip to Idaho to play the Bandits. And that's a 4 o'clock matchup there for 2A Lyman. Lyman ranked 5th to begin the season. And Shelley, Idaho is in Wyoming to play number 1 Star Valley. That one is slated for 7 o'clock. 3A Evanston is in Utah to, pay, to, to play Ben Lamond at 7 o'clock. 3A Torrington is in Garing, Nebraska. And 2A Wheatland is at Mitchell. Non-varsity matchups include Tin Sleep at St. Stephen's on Friday. And then on Saturday, KC will be at number 5 Casper Christian in six-man football. That's 10 o'clock being played at Natrona County High School. And then interclass matchups, 2A Mountain View at 3A Green River. Mountain View ranked third in the preseason polls in 2A. You can tune into that one on uh, 104.9 FM, 1490 AM, and of course streaming free live HD video to you at facebook.com slash the radio network group or TRN Sports on YouTube. And 3A Rollins is at 2A Burns at 1 o'clock. And then jamborees and scrimmages taking place today. Uh, we've got uh, Cody at, at Lander. 2A Level is at 3A Buffalo. And then Upton Sundance is at number four, Warland, Newcastle, and Thermop will meet. And then 1A, nine man, number two, Big Piney at 3A, Pinedale. And uh, so that's a nine man versus 11 man. We are bringing coverage of Pinedale sports this year. We'll start our coverage of games beginning next week as Pinedale makes the trip to Rollins to begin the season. And we'll do a kind of breakdown of last year's team and this year's schedule, and we'll broadcast that for you as well uh, this week. Now, Farson Six-Man's jam Jamboree taking place. Burlington is there, Dubois and Encampment also in attendance, and then Pine Bluffs hosting one as well for Lingle Fort Laramie, Saratoga, and Southeast. That's a look at the weekly prep report. Plenty more still to come. You're listening to High School Football here at TRN Media. You'll be able to enjoy that segment as well as a few others during every pregame show here for the Wranglers football, basketball, and soccer seasons. As uh, we also do a Wyoming Cowboys preview called the Pokes Preview. And uh, I'll be actually hopping on a plane here very shortly to make it down to the Arizona State game and uh, uh, do the sideline reporting for the Cowboys. So here's a look at uh, the Wyoming Cowboys matched up against Arizona State for their week one. Hey, Pokes fans, it's time for the Pokes Preview Show with the voice of Sweetwater County, Eric Pauley. Eric, what do you see in the cards for the brown and gold this week? 
Well, Dave, the Wyoming Cowboys will take the trip down to Arizona State to start the season, and Wyoming head football coach Jay Savell is itching to see what these Cowboys are made of. Yeah, game week, um, we're all excited for that. It's, you know, I think probably like every coach would say right now, it's time to play a game, and um, it's time to, you know, you get a feel for where you're at as a, as a program, and especially going on the road, playing a uh, – uh, quality opponent uh, that I think will be very much upgraded from where they were a year ago um, that also has some really good players that are back from last year. Um, I think they got two outstanding coordinators. I think Brian Ward does a very good job with their defense. Um, they're multiple in what they do. A lot of pressure at times. You watched them against Washington last year. High level of execution. And that's against a team that played the national championship game and I remember watching that game in my place that night I don't know where what our status was that day whether we were open or got home or whatever and I remember watching that game and it was just like yeah we played these guys next year so um, they are there's some things that they'll do I think number seven Shamari Simmons is an extremely good player uh, very physical very fast um, you know, is very impactful in a number of different ways. They brought in a number of transfers, uh, you know, and so to comment on a lot of those, it's a little bit more difficult. I do know, you know, we had seen Keyshawn Elliott's a linebacker that came from New Mexico State. We saw him uh, multiple different times because we had crossover games from when uh, New Mexico State had played uh, other opponents, and so we're aware that he's a very good player. For the first time in 47 years, UW will play former WAC rival Arizona State, and the Cowboys trail the all-time series 9-6. to The Sun Devils join the Pac-10 after the 1977 season and will be playing their first game as a member of the Big 12. ASU starting quarterback Sean Levitt played at Michigan State last season for new UW offensive coordinator Jay Johnson. In four games for the Spartans, Levitt was 15 for 23, for 139 yards and two touchdowns before transferring following a coaching change. The Sun Devils' new offensive coordinator, Marcus Arroyo, held the same position with the Pokes under Dave Christensen from 2009 to 2010 before stops at Cal, Oklahoma State, Oregon, and as UNLV's head coach from 2020 to 2022. ASU's rushing attack is led by Cam Scatbo, who had 788 rushing yards and nine touchdowns to lead them in 2023. UW quarterback Evan Sabota, who is from nearby Mesa, Arizona, will face a strong secondary led by safety Shamari Simmons, who led ASU with 73 tackles last season. The Sun Devils added 15 transfers on defense, including 12 from power conferences to bolster all levels of the unit. Plenty more still to come. That's the Pokes Preview Show. You're listening to High School Football on TRN Media. I want to thank our sponsors once again, uh, Boulder Creek Carriage Company, Highline Trail RV Park, State Farm Agent Peter Sherbel, Flowright Plumbing and Heating, Bucky's Outdoors, Jack's Salon, The Bear Den Restaurant, Pinedale Glass, Ramsey Eye Care Center, Four Pines Physical Therapy, First Choice Ford, Pinedale Aquatic Center, Jorgensen's and Associates, and CarQuest. Without these businesses, we wouldn't be able to uh, bring you the coverage that begins next week with uh, the matchup against Rollins. So, uh, again, if you're able to support these local businesses, they're supporting these kids, supporting these broadcasts. And, again, we will have free live HD video provided to you at Facebook.com slash the Radio Network Group. And uh, we'll have our uh, radio broadcast available to you at 104.3 KFZE. You also have the option of streaming the uh, the audio from the radio feed as well at the radio network.net. So plenty of options for you, the family, wherever they live. They can tune in, they can watch, and they can uh, check out all of Pinedale Wrangler's football season. Pinedale uh, Wrangler and uh, boys and girls basketball uh, for, for basketball. And then we'll pick up boys and girls soccer as well in kind of a game of the week format when the uh, spring season rolls around. I thought we'd take a look real quick at uh, some of the superlatives and, and records for the Pinedale Wranglers. Is, uh, again, a new coach and uh, Jesse Lake taking over the reins from David Thrash, who stayed in the, the, the school district. And uh, looking at, uh, we'll go way back here. So the most points scored in a game was uh, 86 points scored against Big Piney. Uh, that was back in 1952. 
That was also the largest margin of victory. No surprise there. 86 to nothing. Now, uh, the most points allowed in a game, that was against Jackson back in 1938. That was a 73 to 13 matchup there. And uh, then uh, the, let's see here. Um, longest winning streak came in 1975, 10 games for the Wranglers. And the longest unbeaten streak was from 1970 to 1971 of 11 games. And then the longest winless streak, losing streak, was from 2020 to 2023, 23 straight games. And uh, they were able to break that last year with a 2-7 and seven, uh, overall record in 2023. And uh, again, Jesse Lake taking the reins for the Wranglers in his first year as a head coach. I want to thank Jesse for his help in getting these broadcasts together and doing, you know, what's what's best for the fans and uh, mom and dad, grandma, grandpa being able to watch things here and excited to see what the Wranglers do this season. So with that, folks, uh, we're going to seal it up here. We'll bring you results on 104.3 KFZE from this scrimmage format. It was 11 man versus nine man. Uh, of course, always a rivalry between Big Piney and Pinedale, uh, but we'll begin our uh, coverage of the 11-man season beginning uh, this next week as uh, it will be Rollins on the road on September 6th, and uh, Doug will have the call of that game for you, and uh, very excited about the future with Doug, as well as uh, coverage of Pinedale Wrangler Sports. For everyone at TRN Media, 104.3 KFZE, and for Doug, I'm Eric Polly signing off. Have yourselves a wonderful evening and enjoy the ballgame.